The future Batman, known as Batman 1 million, is so powerful that his IQ is stated to be at 1045, making him just over 10 times as intelligent as the average human today. Born on the prison planet Pluto in the 853rd century, or specifically the year 85,245, the virus known as the Laughing Virus struck the planet, freeing all the prisoners, who now turn loose, burned and killed everything in their path, taking some 15,000 children prisoner who then witnessed them wiping out all of the adults. When it was all over, one child vowed to never let anything like this happen again, thus becoming the new Batman, eventually maintaining the entire planet on his own. With his heightened intellect, even for a future human, this Batman went about creating a new robotic Robin 1 million, also known as the Toy Wonder, a robot Robin who helps him maintain the planet, who has jet boosters in his feet, is armed to the teeth with all kinds of Batman inventions, including being able to shoot all sorts of electric and seeking batarangs from his arms. And as Robin told the original Batman, Batman 1 million put in a neural implant of himself as a kid before his parents died in the breakout into Robin, so Robin can serve as a hopeful reminder of the future he's fighting for. Batman 1 million has managed to get him and the future version of Superman out of being stuck in a time loop. Time loops where events reverse or restart from the same point with characters not knowing that it's happening is thought to not currently be possible, according to our understanding of physics. Batman's situation, on the other hand, is what could be called a closed time curve, where a single path through space-time has looped back on itself, so the traveling object or information keeps arriving at its own paths, fully aware of what's happening, which is thought to possibly be able to happen in warped regions of space, such as those near rotating black holes or thin hypothetical wormholes. With our super smart Batman asking Superman to casually fly them both through the fifth dimension and back into our own outside the affected area, and this works. He has the ability to create a non-corporeal avatar of himself at any time to perform any sort of cognitive work he could want, one that has the same intellect, resources, and costume abilities that he can stay in contact with at all times, and even others like Alfred can converse with as if it was really him. Batman 1 million is also packing a tool that lets him indefinitely trap targets in Tesseract space, which is really an infinite space inside of a finite object. With his intellect and technology, Batman 1 million has not only grown, put on ice, and then with some really fancy future technology he cooked up, transported the soul of Bruce Wayne into the future to help him, recreating exact replicas of his suit and all of his gear. But he has trained his mind and body to the renowned mental and unmatched physical people for a human with his super mind being able to quickly process vast amounts of information like a supercomputer that has allowed him to hack into the regular bat cave in less than a second manually. Like inhabitants of the 853rd century, Batman 1 million is 100% telepathic, and he has access to the artificial telepathic information network, or rather the future version of the internet known as Headnet, an ability that he has used to tremendous effect as not only only has this escalated version of Batman been thought to have mastered most forms of martial arts in his time known throughout the solar system, skyrocketing him to one of DC's top fighters and allowing him to easily predict any opponent's moves like he's boxing with a sloth, but he's also mastered a telepathic martial art that both physically and telepathically attacks an opponent that he learned from an otherworldly octopus. His Batcave is so awesome that it sits inside the heart of the hollow out Pluto, housing hundreds of deadly defense systems, along with the most advanced computing systems and technology the Batcave has ever seen by quite a lot, including Batman's new Omni Bat vehicle, otherwise a custom morphing flying Batmobile that can quickly traverse across the planet in the blink of an eye. And his gadgetry includes everything the original Batman has, along with the added data rings, which he uses as tracking devices that catch onto someone's genetic code, as well as being able to attack and incapacitate opponents on a molecular level. But above all this is Batman 1 million's bat suit. The most sophisticated bat suit ever, that is completely fireproof, bulletproof, like Batman Beyond who we went over, the suit seems to incorporate a sort of advanced meta material that basically is able to refract light around the suit, rendering him invisible in all light. The suit also augments his already freakish strength, agility 
strength and endurance, it can both generate and absorb electricity, as well as interact with any type of known computer. Beyond being able to project holograms, the suit contains a capacity of 1 billion gigabytes, otherwise 10 times more than the modern back computer and about 10% of the total estimated data that the United States uses in one day. But far more amazing is the suit can literally manipulate gravity, creating a field around it, thus once again defying our understanding of physics, allowing him to actually fly. And it can shoot lasers out of its hands. But perhaps one of the coolest abilities of the suit is it has the power to morph into any version of the bat suit ever created on command, and function exactly like it. And besides this, Batman 1 million also has many other unique bat suits, like various mechanized armors and a boom suit. Being a bat suit that has a boom tube or teleporter housed within it, that lets Batman teleport across space. But as powerful as Batman 1 million is, he does still have a major weakness and limitation. Just like me attempting to attach scientific terms to currently impossible science fiction scenarios, Batman 1 million lives in a time where humanity has evolved to the point that everyone has has super intelligence and likely strength compared to modern day humans. The villains he faces are stronger, smarter, and includes an artificial intelligence called Solaris that has literally taken over the sun. The sheer scale of what he has to deal with handling an entire asylum planet on his own, let alone justice leaking around the solar system, means that Batman, like the other heroes, had to evolve as well. And this time, he seems to be more alone than ever, only having a robot Robin to keep him company inside a hollow planet where he hardly ever sees the sky itself, causing this Batman to still be incredibly reliant on his mind on technology to combat a solar system of super viruses like the Joker virus, artificial intelligences, and villains with more power and resources than ever before. Cause even in this age, Batman 1 million is still just a human, surrounded by far stronger versions of every other hero and their new villains, one who could still fall just like the original from one well-placed blow. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. In the far future, Superman came to retire, living inside the sun for thousands of years. When his return to Earth is imminent, a massive celebration is planned, and the original Justice League members are the guests of honor. Thus, the new Justice League of the future travels back to 1998 to meet their present day counterparts. And when Batman 1 million meets the original Batman, he remarks how Gotham City was known to be a paradise before disappearing from historical records, and doesn't seem to know why it needed a Batman in the first place, giving Bruce Wayne for the first and only time any confirmation that his crusade is actually successful. With us going over characters like Batman Beyond and Arkham Batman in these videos available right here with a tap. See you in the next one.